A community is coming together to honor the life of a 16-year-old girl who was killed last weekend in Fayette County. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Erica Stanish. Police say Bailey Lentz Veach was struck by an alleged drunk driver in Connellsville. She was taken to the hospital, but unfortunately did not survive. And tonight we find KDKA's Lauren Linder out in Connellsville, who spoke with the young girl's family at a candlelight vigil. A memorial continues to grow here off East Crawford Avenue in Connellsville, close to the spot where police say a drunk driver struck and killed Billy Lentz Veach. Family and friends are devastated, but coming together to remember a young life cut short. I said, I love you. I said, we get home. <sighs> she never came home. Bobby Veach and Daniel Mullen try to hold back tears as they think about their daughter, Bailey. She should be here with us. It's hard. It's, it's just hard. Nearly one week ago, 16-year-old Bailey was walking home from Dairy Queen on Crawford. When police say a truck crossed the center lines, and hit her in front of Geibel Catholic High School before taking off. Days later, the pain is still there. Bailey's parents are quickly learning that the community has their backs. You guys are the reason I'm still standing. More than 100 people coming out for a vigil to honor Bailey, lighting candles and releasing balloons. 16 years. And she's touched out all of your lives. Bailey was in 10th grade at Connellsville High School. Someday she wanted to be a pet groomer and even go to business school. She was the best. She was just the most amazing kid in the entire world. She's always went out of her way to make sure somebody had felt included, felt special, or felt seen. Now family and friends will remember her through memories. There's a hole in us that we will never Fill again. They hope eventually to get some kind of justice. Police say Mark Luchik of Ontario, Canada was behind the wheel and drunk. He's in custody on charges including homicide by a vehicle while under the influence. Please, before you ever think of making that choice again, don't do it because this is what happens. Trying to make good out of a horrible situation. Something's got to change. So another family doesn't have to go through this. Another community doesn't have to go through the pain of losing somebody. Luchik remains in Fayette County Jail. He'll be in court on February 15th for his preliminary hearing. For now, reporting in Connellsville, Lauren Linder, KDKA News.